Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Hour. We are jumping in again on an 11 streak, baby. But we're starting to get to the characters that are going to be a little bit harder. Um, mainly the fact that soon we're going to have to do Jacob and Ease out. And I'm really, really not looking forward to that. Because I have a feeling that there's a very high chance that that's where our streak ends. Um, oh god, this is a treacherous room if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, that was kind of evil game. That was kind of evil. Honestly, you've you've placed this man in the worst possible location. I've only taken one damage, but I do only start with um with two hearts as this bad boy, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. But these little fellas, I've 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 come to learn that the burn they fling is actually really short range. So you just kind of stay away from them. As for um as for today's question of the day. I've got a kind of interesting one. So, as many of you know, I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 recently, um, as has pretty much everyone, and if you haven't, why the hell not? It's one of the best games I've ever played. Um, but, my question of the day is, what is your D1 and D20 roles in life? What's what's your critical failure and the best luck you've ever had? What What's your D1 and your D20? I'd be interested to know. I'll, I'll be honest, it's not a question that I have a great answer for myself. I'd say, like, my D20 is just, like, the, the luck that I've had with my job thus far. Just that I've got a pretty stable job that isn't ridiculously taxing, that I do from home and I enjoy. So, I feel, I feel like, although that's not anything crazy, that's it's pretty decent going, um, considering. We will take uh, Dad's key in here, which... Honestly, isn't great value, I'll be honest, uh, in terms of, like, it's a two-room charge item that we've put into our void. But it does give us guaranteed Mega Satan access, of which we have not currently done. And in a pinch, it means if we have absolutely no keys, we can do something with it. I probably should have uh, seen if there's any rooms I wanted to use it on or things I wanted to use it on this floor. I can't remember, does it open golden chests? I don't think it does. Also, yet again, if you uh, hear my fan in the background, I apologise. This is weird. Um... Destroys any held trinkets and spawns two to four random pickups. That's kind of an interesting one. Um, I'm sure that if I took that in, I'd end up accidentally destroying an absolutely fantastic trinket, such as this bad boy here. In fact, um, the walnut's pretty crap. This this active item, I believe, is also pretty crap, but we could at least use it to get some use out of the walnut. Yeah, that was legitimately awful. <laughs> like, that is such a bad active item. My god, it's so like, and unless it increases the spawn rate, like Smelter, of um, Trinkets spawning, then it's maybe a little bit better. But if it doesn't do that, then it is, it is for the most part, kind of worthless. Because realistically, you probably come across maybe four or five Trinkets a run, sometimes less. And there's, there's going to be at least one of those that you want to keep, of course. Um, and you, there's going to be some of them that you... Uh, you can't gain access to whatever. Ooh, hello. Chance to give um, a fire tier the Eye of Belial effect. I mean, for one, can we just can we just agree that the sprite for this trinket is awesome? I really, really like the sprite for this trinket. One moment. I'm just going to quickly close down some programs I've got open that I have no current need for. There you go. Um, yeah. For one, the sprite for this is just absolutely adorable. But also, chance for Eye of Belial shot? Really nice. Unfortunately, at the minute, we are... Having some lag. I really am not a big fan of this setup we've got going on here. Now, what I'm curious about is, for one, what the chances are of us firing said Eye of Belial shot. It doesn't seem super high right now. And the other is um, if it is affected by luck. Okay, let's, let's wait for this. Because I feel like it's probably affected by luck, but it didn't state that in the trinket's description, and it normally does. So, I'm a little bit unsure what to think in that regard. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suck up that, uh, that active item thing. But it, I have really nice, because it's a, a shot that deals extra damage and has piercing. So, it's, it's effectively a better version of a few different trinkets. It's really nice. And like I said, if it's affected by luck, it's gonna be really, really strong. But I kind of doubt that it is. Like I said, just because it doesn't state it, and most times they do state it. It does seem to be about a 1 in 10, I'd say. About a 1 in 10, which I'd say is pretty, pretty decent odds. 
Okay, you managed to walk into a wall that didn't exist, so... I think we figured out the intelligence levels of this boss. Hopefully we get a HP up here. Um, we didn't, but we did get Soapbox, which is actually a, a pretty darn good item, all things considered. Uh, right, let's go down to the next floor. Um, feeling reasonably okay with how that floor panned out. I think our trinket is better than the item we got in our, in our item room, which is a little weird. But I think overall, can't, can't be uh, too upset with uh, getting this trinket and, like I said, getting guaranteed Mega Saiyan access. Um, which is pretty nice. Good, good, good. Right. Ooh, we got the, the Bernie version. The Bernie version of this guy, I remember being an absolute nuisance because he pops down fires uh, from his bombs. And his bombs also deal contact damage, so he's a little bit frustrating to kill. Because, um, yeah, the, the, the bombs still uh, block shots, so... Yeah, he's, he's kind of annoying, but we'll, 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 we'll learn to deal with him. I also don't think he does much damage to himself with his own bombs, unlike the regular bomber boys do. Yeah, there you go, look, he does none. Okay. We got some bombs out of that. That's not so bad. I'm I'm reasonably happy. Now, look, my question is, and actually I've already answered my own question. Basically, my question was going to be, do I um, Emperor card in order to try and kill this guy a little bit faster? And I've decided I'm going to because I have a lot of bombs. My biggest mistake so far has been the fact that I'm unable to use my bombs because of these goddamn spiders. Okay, I managed to get one of them with a bomb. This is going really bad. Why can't I kill that last spider? My guy. Okay, this is going reasonably well. This guy can always be a bit of an awkward boss, but he's not terrible. Like I said, I am just a little worried about the spiders that he's, uh, that he's created here. But, I'm less worried now that he's dead. We get a devil deal here. Um, that's genuinely pretty decent. I think we'll definitely go angel based on our current HP situation. But yeah, I thought, why not try and get the devil deal out the way with before I've immediately taken damage. So it was clearly the right decision, because otherwise I would have lost that devil chance. Basically, I was like, I've got seven bombs. I can just bomb the boss. Turns out it was a really easy boss to bomb, and I never got the opportunity to do so because I'm a goose. A royal goose. Anyways, um... Hopefully our item room contains something that is good slash worth sucking up. Yeah, I forgot that this is what I always forget which ghost is which. And I, I always forget it's that ghost. Also, this is a truly annoying enemy, but luckily it wasn't actually that bad. Item room, item room. I'm going to need my Arbel Isles to trigger way more opportune times to multi-kill things. Right now, I'm not really getting that. Ooh, the sun card. Eh, I'll pop the sun. It saves us uh, a room. And it gives us our secret room. We also get the hermit here, which isn't super valuable for us right now. But uh, we could use it to cheese our cash room, I guess. Good. We got a pill out of that guy. I'll take a pill. It's a range down. We got two, we got a plus two range up from our last item, so that doesn't bother me that much, especially when we're on ten. I think anything over, like, five or six is pretty good going. I, I'm really not a fan of this room. This room is, for one, going on for way too long. For two, is full of some of the enemies that I despise most. You know, these enemies aren't that bad. They're just a little annoying, because, for one, they have spectral, and for two, obviously, they just bloody move all the goddamn time. Hey, there's some speed. Lovely. I liketh the speed. Pop in here real quick. Now, that's an interesting one. I mean, I'm glad to have my bombs back, uh, but kind of weird to see that there. Um, oh, that actually gave us access, which is strange, but nice. Oh, we hadn't actually been to this room yet. I didn't realize. Right, we'll, we'll pop in here real quick and then hermit card out. Hasn't really done anything good for us. I can't remember what those batteries do, but I don't think I want to pick it up. Uh, we can buy a soul heart here at least. I think that's probably worth doing. And then our item room is still yet to come. We've managed to go everywhere but our item room here. Our character's face is looking horrendous right now. It's it's somewhat beautiful that it's managed to get to such a despicable state. These guys are kind of annoying as well. 
Especially when we've got these guys that are basically time bombs. Although, they don't spew out the correct enemies, I don't think. I still think that's a bug. They spew out enemies that just don't make sense. Hey, another soul heart there, lovely. Um, and I thought this was our second syringe for some reason. I'm not sure if we want this or not. Um... Yeah, it's, it's decent. I'll take half a soul heart of damage to get two of them. I was going to try and bomb the other ones so that they were close to each other so I could use the iframes to grab both. But at the end of the day, it's not really that worthwhile. I should have maybe held off and grabbed that because I think the confessionals, while not good, are useful if you can get one every floor. Um, but we're a little ways off of that. And I'm not that bothered about it. It's fine. Right, let us go to the next floor. Don't think we have any specific goals in mind for this run. I think it's just um, going straight to a regular path here. Yeah, light path all the way. Um, no worry there. We will push this over. Aww. We don't need to buy the hearts. We've got no risk of accidentally picking that up. We get ourselves, unfortunately, a trinket that I would have actually trashed, but... It was unfortunate. We, we didn't get a nickel out of that. Oh, the nickel is uh, very nicely nestled underneath this. No, we didn't get a nickel. And we get the, ourselves the Mama Maker Explosion, which gives us boss rush access, which we have already done. But it also gives us hush access, which we haven't done. So we could hold on to this for a while and use it to enter hush. If we're late, that is. We might not be. Some unfortunate hits there. I'm pretty sure I took full heart damage for that hit as well. We are only on zero luck at the minute, so we've, we've got no evidence of Aya Belial being affected by luck as of yet. Boom, bow. Yeah, we've had no need to use our, um, our thingy active item for stats yet. We've had a bunch of items that have been reasonably worth just taking. But this could be, our active item could be our path to getting uh, more luck. Because obviously it can give us luck. These guys are really crazy. Like, sometimes they fire and do, like, basically nothing. And other times they fire and it just literally, like, launches across the entire fucking room. It's crazy. Luckily, we were able to deal with them without getting hit. I'm a little worried about my current HP because I, uh, I got hit in that last room there. It was very, very gooberish of me. I almost got hit there as well. Those enemies, like, are so cool now they've been, like, reworked and sort of retuned. They used to be kind of janky, but this attack looks really good now. Yeah. You're also annoying. If I kill this guy, I've got to remember he's going to spoot out crap all over me and it's going to be a, a whole thing. I don't like the fact that you're, like, stuck in there. And I keep accidentally bashing you back in. I can't do anything to you from there, fool. Okay, we got you. Secret room looks likely to be right here, but I'm going to sort of check the data first. I keep doing that where I just assume where the secret room is. And I will say a lot of the time I'm right, but not enough. I need to be uh, backing it up with a little bit more evidence, especially when I only have six bombs. If I have over ten, I can be a little more um, a little more forthcoming with the planting of bombs, but I want them for tinted rocks because situations like that might occur where we get something amazing. Um... That's a trinket, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of a shame because we already have a trinket I very much want to keep. Can I get to this? No. Yeah. We are. I got it. Nice one. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't want that. Uh, it, it is. A, it is a good trinket, but I'm. I'm really, really into the one that I have right now, and this has definitely confirmed to me that that is indeed secret room. If it wasn't, I would have stabbed someone in the heart. I was that sure of it. We're going to get an item from the secret room, though. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We're going to get Glitch City. It's going to be the funnest run you've ever seen in your life. You see? Proof. Do you know what? A D4 don't sound all too bad to me right now. The question is, active item, re-rolling each of the player's items into random items. Um, I feel like we should probably hold off until we can swap our active, because I'd rather not roll our active. And it doesn't always roll your active, but it, it does a lot of the time. Now, I'm, I know you're thinking, oh, well, you've just left your Mama Mega, Mega thing behind, but honestly, it's only for Hush. I'm not that, like, in sort of 
into that because I'd, I'd need a run that I want to do hush on first to... Uh, I'd, I'd maybe rather hold off because our items we've got now aren't bad, but they also ain't great. I would definitely be up for re-rolling them. But I'm going to need another active item on the floor at some point so that I don't lose Void when I do re-roll because we don't need that. Having Void is, is not only part of this character's identity, but also it's actually a pretty good item and I feel like it'd be missed. I'm a little annoyed by the... Uh, the sort of setup in this room, because I'm really having a hard time killing those guys. Now our speed has uh, has has gotten to some real nice levels right now. Ooh, downpour version of this guy looks really nice. If only I could get—I was gonna say—if only I could line up an eye of a Lyle shot on this guy for the right timing. There you go. Go right through him. Oh no, this is actually a new enemy. For one, he had a spew shot when he died, but also full of all the drowned charges. Really cool. I mean, this is a fucking tough room, I gotta say. It's a, well, I wouldn't say it's tough. It's a lengthy room. But it's kind of interesting. I can get down with this. I can get down with this. I'm a little annoyed that I'm still receiving so much lag. I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to do a fresh install of the game and my mods at some point soon. Because that always seems to help. Pop in here real quick. We have Cyst, which I will definitely be attempting to take. Uh, we don't have a penny on the floor anywhere as of right now. But I'm sure we'll get a penny at some point. But Cyst, Cyst's our first good item. Um, although, do we want to reroll before we grab Cyst or not? That's the question. I could risk it and just get rid of Void. But that would also get rid of our ability to um, go to Mega Certain. So it's... Eh. It's a little iffy. I mean, we are going angel deals, so we might just be able to get the key pieces anyway. There's a few caveats going on right now. Decision making ain't so easy. Basically, this item room is going to set in stone whether I want a D4 or not. That is sticky bombs, I think. Which isn't that good. I think I'm probably wanting, wanting to D4 here. I just can't remember if the D4 will reroll my active or not. I'm pretty sure it will. Oh, I also don't want to reroll my trinket. I don't think it rerolls trinkets, but. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Give me that. It did indeed reroll it. We have very, very low fire rate, I'm noticing. Broken record. Kind of an interesting one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I've spoiled this run. Maybe I haven't. Reflux plus Eve's Mascara, I've got to say, is not a great combo. Not a, not a great combo. But now we do get our Mega Blast thing back, which is nice at least. And yeah, we no longer have the ability to get stats with Void, so I'm a little thingy about that. But yeah, our Reflux thing we've got here is kind of interesting. Dude, can you fucking stop? Holy shit. Basically, if we get the shot close enough, we can let go of it in the right timings to explode the shot. It's pretty good, but with the fire rate we've got right now, I've got to say it's not great. Also, probably should have done the boss first. Could have avoided getting fucking pageant boy. But at least now we can go back and uh, grab our cyst out of the shop, which is pretty useful for this low fire rate setup we've got right now. It's a guaranteed kill every room, pretty much. Not particularly enthused about my current HP either. That situation's looking a little bleak. Good job we're able to buy an extra heart. Yeah. Um, but the, the problem here, re realistically, is Ease Mascara increases our damage for our shot, but not our damage for our explosion from Reflux. Reflux and Ease Mascara both lower our fire rate, so we've kind of got a, a, a hat on a hat here, really. Um, we've got a situation where we've got two items that kind of have slightly similar effects in a way. Um... But not not ideal for us, really. I mean, the good thing is the explosions are really good. The problem is they are a little bit hard to utilize correctly. Um, in my experience, I've, I've always found reflux to be a little iffy. Also, another thing about this is our um, trinket is now nowhere near as good. Because we're just firing less shots. The good thing, however, is we have an active that um, will allow us to uh, get a new trinket relatively easily. So... Maybe we'll get a good trinket doubled. Yeah, so if it's the cyst shot, there's basically no point at all to um, 
Oh, dude, that guy. Apparently, the the more they travel, the more the more the shots pick up crap. Yeah. Only thing is, it's a little hard. You know what would really go well with um with reflux is permanent piercing shocks, and you could get the shot inside the enemy before you blew it up. I think that would do a lot. Range would also be nice, so it can travel a bit further. Um, triple effect is... Trinket effect is tripled if possible. It's kind of an interesting idea. Oh, this this does say chances are doubled, though. I, I do kind of like the fact that it works with this. I've got some, some hang-ups here. I think I am going to go to the Steven floor, mainly because um, I might be able to go to the Steven floor in order to get rid of Eve's Mascara. Out of the two, Reflux or Eve's Mascara, I'd definitely rather get rid of Eve's Mascara. But I just don't really think I need the damage, and I'm getting a, a tier rate down from Eve's Mascara to the point where my tier rate is, like, abysmally low. Can we also talk about the amount of crawl spaces I'm getting right now? What the hell's going on with that? That's pretty lucky. Pretty nice. Um... I'm not so sure what to think about you. Apparently, I don't have to think much. Dice bag. Okay, that gives us another option to re-roll, which is intriguing because I would probably actually um, take take said opportunity if if it is presented to me. So, kind of intrigued by that option. I'll be honest. Good. I still can't believe this increases the chance of you getting keys. I never knew that before. Also, yeah, another thing is the explosion, it's it's definitely iffy to hit it. Because you've got to wait like a certain distance before it works. I think having low shot speed helps. I think all it all it wants is the tier to be in the, in the sky for a certain amount of time. Good. Good, good. Hello, hello. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's do our boss first. I really ought to remember with this guy that I, my, my first shot isn't going to do jack shit. Yeah, you see what I mean with like, if, if I had piercing? If I had piercing, like, I could get the shot inside the enemy and then detonate it. I'd have a lot more leeway. I mean, this is kind of piercing, but this does give me a pretty big shot speed increase, which I did just say I didn't want. So maybe not the best thing I should have picked up, but... Yeah, it definitely is based on time, so we've now got a worse margin for the ability to use reflux, which is yeah, slightly stupid of me, I'll be honest. Um, slightly stupid of me indeed, but eh. What's done is done. What's picked up is picked up. This is pretty abysmal. <laughs> I'm definitely going to want a, a D4 when I can get one, I think. Good. Ooh, this is a good item, I've got to say. Now, I really like that item, and I'd rather not take it with this run, <laughs> so... Uh, fuck you. You just stole all my money, you fat cunt. Right, give me that for now. And then let's go... Put that there. Basically, what I'm thinking at the minute is, as a spin down can spin down all of my trinkets, and I can see if I get anything good. I'm gonna keep the um, the thing you want. Does it does it work the things on the floor? I don't actually know. Um, uh, Rerolling all trinkets in the room. Good, good, good. So I pick up this one. Actually, leave it there for now because there's another trinket down here. But I pick up that one when I want to use it. Oh, I've missed. I've missed one over here. It's a little bit tedious, obviously, but eh, it could be worth it. You never know. There are some really good trinkets out there. Right, drop. Got 
one single one left here. And then what was in my item room? I'm just going to go and check because I, I honestly don't remember. Oh, uh, of course, it was the tech zappy zappy item. Okay, so I do want that at some point, but not yet. So I want to pick up this and then pick up this and then do this. And unfortunately, that is pretty abysmal. <laughs> like, there is nothing there that I care for. Um, we've already done the boss item. Okay, so unfortunately, we ain't got much choice. We're just going to have to take our tech zappy zappy. Um, and then we're going to go to the uh, Stephen floor, which I don't know how to think about this, the Stephen floor. Because it's not going to do a ton for us, I'll admit. Also, my damage has gone down. It used to be like 60-something. Oh, I think this, this tech zappy zappy is a damage down, that's why. You upset me. How does a statue walk? That's not my business to pry. But they might ask you. Fair enough. Yeah, I, basically at the minute I'm just like, can I get rid of Eve's mascara from going down here? Potentially. So, it is worth it. Annoying, because this is destroying or re-rolling. If that had happened on the last floor, I could have actually found a good way to destroy that. Ow. I hit by some bullshit. I'm going to leave that there for now, because the, the more items we have, the lower chance we have of getting rid of the right item. So I'd rather not tempt fear at the moment. Now, I will say, with this damage, with the Eve's Mascara, our laser does seem to be doing an awful lot of damage. Um, while held counts as one towards the book. That's really terrible, that is. I mean, it's, it's, it's good that it exists. It's just, like, never going to be useful for me. But, like, it's one of those trinkets where, like, you keep it until you find a better one. Thank you, Psy Hunter, for getting shit done for me. Oh, there's a palsy in here. I see. Slightly scary. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right off. Right, no way I'm giving you that. In no way, pal. You want my active item? Also, in no way, pal. You did get re-rolled. Uh, actually, we want that because we upped our shot speed by accident, so... Uh, could I give him it? There you fucking go. What are you doing, game? That's a fucking active item, isn't it? You dog shit piece of crap. I ha <sighs> Honestly, they should only ever give you active items if you give it an active item. The fact that it can t give your pass t turn your passive into an active is absolute horseshit. <laughs> That's really not fun. Okay, gotta say, after coming to this floor, I am significantly less confident in how this run is going. I have lost a lot of HP. And I've gained nothing so far. At least I can use my explosions slightly more reliably now. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I, honestly, at the minute, I'm not convinced with how this is going. There's our secret room, at least. We know where that is. Oh, apparently that thing hurts me, so that's good. There it is, baby. That hasn't increased my fire rate as much as I was hoping it would. Spirit of the Night is pretty decent, though. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Oh, dude. I lost my fucking thingy hat. I need some HP real fucking soon. I'm pretty sure it's a Tinted Rock. That is some HP. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm slightly more pleased. Got rid of E's mascara.
Um, don't really know where I'm going. I'm just trying to get to all the rooms. Power pill. Did all that fucking work to get my tears back. What's the first thing I take? A goddamn tears down. You son of a bitch. This game is evil. Okay. Not not enthused with how all this is going right now. This is this is not a winning run to me, uh, which is scary because our streak is pretty precious to me. I'd like to think I can keep it alive, but right now I'm not convincing myself. Now that, that's a good trinket. So I don't even know if it works with Red Penny, but really good. I really, really don't like this. That was kind of gross. Okay. To our secret room first. We've got Skinny Odd Mushroom here, which I'm very happy about. That is a huge fire rate increase. Uh, we have our thingy item back. We have a golden version of this. Um, and we'll take... It's not what I was expecting it would be, to be honest. But I'm reasonably happy with it. And I think we're good to go. I'm a little upset that I'm going into the boss fight with this much HP, but my thought right now is just use bombs. Don't like how many minions you've spawned here. Okay, good. We got ourselves that. We got this. We could get plus one shot speed. That'd be ace, wouldn't it? No. Okay. Okay. Came out of that floor better off than I was expecting. But still not ideal. I'm glad we got rid of Eve's Mascara. Although we lost a lot of damage by doing so. Um, I think overall it was a... a a better idea for us. That's slightly overkill. Okay, it doesn't matter. The question is, do I want to gamble? I gambled. I... I regret that so immensely. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could get more damage or more fire rate. Literally lost all my fire rate and more. That was not worth it either. Wow, okay, this is really just... Just going awfully, isn't it? We do get um, 99 bombs or sack head. Okay, no, we get both. Nice. Okay, that's pr that's pretty good. Um, chance to spawn random locusts when collecting pickups. Hmm. That's also really good, but it does. I don't think it gets affected by our current setup. That's HP at least, I'll take it. It does seem that a reflux explosion is based on damage, so... Maybe I've messed up a lot. <laughs> fucking, I can't kill this ball because my fire rate's so fucking slow. I'm going to need another D8 so goddamn fast, otherwise this is going to be a real struggle bus. I mean, it already kind of is, but even more so than it already is. Yeah, my, my, my reflux explosion damage is definitely based on my actual damage, so... That was an unfortunate misconception by myself there. I didn't think the explosion would uh, be based on our own damage, and it clearly is. I should be using bombs, because um, I've got 90 fucking 9 of them.
Also, why do I still have such high shot speed? Did I get a bunch of shot speed when I did my reroll there? That's certainly making things tougher. Oh my fucking life. I can't even use reflux. Like, I, like these enemies just chase. I just want to blow up my shot. Give me piercing, please. This is so awful. My damage isn't even good either. It's like so trash. Oh god, this is pretty awful. Um, We've got some hearts about. We've got at least three. So one, two, three. Fucking hate it when you do this. I hate it. When you're like, yes, I found an owl. I found something to help me. And it's like, <clears throat> I'm not going to pay out. Mug. Okay, he did pay out. Unfortunately, he paid out with an item that is virtually useless to me. So thanks for that. Like the, This room, for example, is so goddamn laggy. Like an insane amount of lag. I, I just don't understand what's going on. I, my game was playing so smoothly the other day and I've not installed any new mods. So unless one's updated and I've just, just like broken everything, I really don't understand what's going on. Fuck off flies, you're not part of this. I said fuck off flies, what did I just tell you? You seriously not going to listen to me? Oh my god, this is so horrible. <laughs> Why did I fucking use the goddamn D8? I was like, it's a run of re-rolling. We can't do any worse than this. Literally took away all of my hard-earned fire rate. This is so <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a struggle. Like, I have so many, like, decent items as well, and it's just like, ugh. That, that is a very good item. Okay. So for one, we have a planetarium this floor I wasn't aware of. For two, we just got a spin down dice, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I gotta say, this is pretty good. Um... Pretty good. This room is going to be so horrible. How the fuck did that guy end up hitting me then? See, I can kill these guys, but killing them, like, when they're reforming, basically impossible. Also, just for good measure, add a few hearsts into the room. Let's really make our life difficult, shall we? Oh god, the frame rate's so bad. I don't know what I've done. Definitely going to do a fresh install of all my mods after this, because it's not, not ideal right now. Okay, that took a while. Let's see what we've got going on here. Mars, you funny fucker. Thank God. Thank God we have spin down, because God damn would I have been so truly, truly annoyed. Truly annoyed if all my options were Mars. That that would have actually driven me to a deep, deep depression, because that is horrible. Um, Nothing we can get from there. No point going back to the cash room, really. I will go to my shop. I've got enough money to make that work. Don't want that. I just want to explode it. Fuck off. You're getting too goddamn close. Why? The fact of the matter is, as well, the reflux explosion is just so fucking tiny. It's so hard to hit. You just stole that golden penny, you absolute dingus. I can't believe you just stole that golden penny. Fuck off. Oh, boy. Oh, baby, you. Uh, right. Hmm. 
So first things first, why the fuck do I have this trinket? There we go. Uh, right, first things first, I'm gonna go and do my boss. Oh, this is Dank Dips 2 though, so I need a teleport card to even do this the way I wanna do it. Fuck's sake. Uh, where's our fool card at? Right. Where's our fool card at? So many trinkets about. I have to do a little bit of looking around for our skull. I'm sure it's about somewhere. Well, that room sort of sorted itself out there. That was rather nice. Okay, there's our skull. So we'll quickly destroy that. I don't need to explode things anymore. I can shoot straight through rocks. Right, let's go do our boss, and then we're going to play our sack room. Because we have a lot of hearts on this floor. Okay, so, let's go in here. Keep firing my cyst shot at the wrong timing. Have just the longest mum fight that will ever exist. I could use bombs, but even bombs are kind of hard to use on mum. This is my current tactic. You goddamn ruined it with these enemies. Look at them all. This is so fucking slow. We're really hoping for an absolute miracle from uh, our sack room here. Fucking get these stupid annoying enemies out of the way. There's so many of them. Fuck off. Okay, so we did that. We got our angel deal. We did get a full run reroll, which is certainly tempting. But the problem with a full run reroll is, I believe, because our stats were D8, like they, they were d 8 I don't think that would actually fix any anything. I'm gonna take the Polaroid here. So I don't think we want to take the D100. You've got to be fucking shitting on my tits. Why? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay. Also. I've just took all that HP. Fucking, no fucking stupid fucking reason to do fucking that. Oh my god, this is awful. This is absolute tits. Right. Anyhow. I fucking will, I, I guess we'll grab this, the token. That wasn't very valuable, but I've done it. Uh, well, that, that ruined everything. That HP there, just, just no point playing our sack room now because we've already been to our angel room. We've got a chance of getting another angel item, but like, what's the fucking point? Just get me out of here. I'm going to carry this because I'm sure there's going to come a point where I, I despise myself enough to do this. And also, I could get another D8 come along and then use that afterwards. That's my current sort of plan. Well, this was nice. I can just kind of leave. <laughs> I'm hoping for another D8 at some point. But the thing is, the dice bag, it only gives you a dice every 10 rooms. So you can wait 10 rooms and then just get the wrong fucking dice. Okay, this is a bit gross. Honestly, the ghosty boy? Pretty goddamn clutch right now. I'm going to be uh, keeping him close. Now, one good thing is we do have Spectral Tears, which is helping. Health is also in a much, much better spot now, which is nice. Good. 
Don't think the tower card says much for us. Oh, what the fuck? Get out of here, you goose. Don't see how this would be that valuable to us, but... There you go. What's done is done. Worm stat booster tripled. It's kind of interesting. Wowie. Okay. This is a, a rather treacherous room, isn't it? Uh, do you know, I've got Terra. I could just be skipping through most of these rooms, but I suppose I'm, I'm playing out the room to try and get Dice Bag to trigger. And it did, and it gave us a Glass D12. Huzzah, huzzah. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Hmm. I'm gonna play this guy. He could get take up to three full heart containers from me. But he gave me bloody ghost. It wasn't at all worth it. Not liking the fact that everything's a champion right now, that's certainly not helping. Why is the blue guy reforming? Oh, these guys just all reform. I was like, only red champions reform, but these are just enemies that do that, you goose. Now, you're probably thinking I could be taking pills to increase my odds here, but my my thought process is, what if it gives me another tears down? <laughs> I know I've already taken tears down, but you know what I mean. What if it gives me something else that puts me in an even worse position? Like, then I'm really up shit's creek. We find our secret room here. Oh, Why did I take that? That could have been an extra trinket there. Extra range. Oh, that was a good hit by that guy. I'm really annoyed about I've spent three fucking so, uh, full red hearts on such a bad item. Oh, it's not a bad item, but such an item that is requires getting hit. I just, that's, it's not valuable to me, game. I need to be not getting hit at all. Ooh, and look, there you go. Batteries give a damage boost to the current floor of an item charge. Yeah, they're both pretty interesting, but not very useful. We got a glass D20 this time around. We are slowly trucking our way through this. It's not completely gone to shit. I like the fact that you can't jump over gaps. Interesting that this guy's had a bit of a rework. I didn't know that. He's got a different coloured shot now and he has slightly more interesting shot patterns. Which is nice. Okay, good. Plus one damage is rather nice. Ooh, ooh, baby. That's also good. I think this is going to be something we have to take. I like the Godhead aura. It seems like it could be pretty valuable for us. Chances are doubled with our trinket. With our, our space bar, sorry. It seems, seems like a good idea to me. Okay. Okay. Chan I was just about to say, by chances of double doesn't mean every single time, because we got one every single time then for a hot minute. Okay. The chances are just seem reasonably high, which is nice.
Now, asked taking pills. Sackhead still giving us some good spoils. Didn't do anything for us, really. Didn't do anything for us, sadly. Really, I'm not a big fan of these enemies. Oh, god damn. Uh, the D8 is just not showing itself, is it? Just refuses to. Can you say it pops up long enough for me to hit you, please? Without also being close enough to me so I can do my explosions. Thank you. We got there in the end. Oh, that was such a bad hit. I got 0.06 Fire rate up for that? Bloody Gust, you scam. You absolute scam. You promised me riches. What is this? Oh my god. Your damage is so fucking low. Dude, I should not have given away those three hearts. I'm taking some bad damage right now. Question is, do I reroll now in the hopes of getting a lot better stuff for the boss? Or do I do the boss and gamble? I'm going to do the boss and gamble just because I've got 99 bombs. I realise I'd have 99 bombs either way. Yeah, this is not easy to dodge. Of course, we've got this attack, which I find... Rather difficult to dodge. Yep, as I said, rather difficult to dodge. I'd like it if this attack didn't exist, please, because I've uh, been hit by it too many times. Okay, well, that was scary. Um, hmm. I'm unsure how to proceed. Because basically, my, like I said, my thinking is... D100 is definitely the right idea. But if I D100 while I've D8'd, will my stats still be fucked? I, I don't know. I, I suppose D100 is a D8 as well. So technically not, so let's just give it a go. We got two little brims. We did get we did keep our dice bags. We got mustard seed. We got booster pack. We got soul. Uh this run's not amazing, but we kept our active item, which is a big win. Um, yeah, I think this is a bit better. I think the little, the doubled little brims are uh, better. Although we did get um, the thing that doubles all our familiars, which is a really, really buggy item. So we'll see how that ends up working out for us. Overall, I think this is better. Yeah, you see how the like when we walk in a room, all the familiars like do that little puff. It's not meant to happen. I don't like you. Ooh. Doesn't matter. This isn't actually that hard. We have 99 Void Bombs. Also, I have the map and I've just gone the wrong way for no reason. Yeah, our lag is like abysmal right now. Oh, the bombs are also sticky, so we have some good stuff going on here, I think. We could get another bomb upgrade from that guy, I suppose. I will gamble on that down to... Oh, I got hit by something there and I don't know what. Let's gamble on this down to like... I don't know. Yeah, the familiar's item is just really, really buggy. It's like causing a ton of lag. 
Like, why, why is it reforming when I use my spacebar? Bonds projectile. Okay, interesting. This isn't the guy I thought it was at all. I thought it was the bomb upgrade guy. I've been giving him all my money and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? I don't need you. You see how, like, my familiar train is, like, really long for some reason, even though there's only six of them there? It's because the game thinks there's way more familiars there than that actually is. Because of the way that the duplication happens, it basically messes up how the game calculates how many familiars we have. And it causes some real issues. I, realistically, I should just get rid of the item. I can't remember what, it's, what the name of it, of it is now. Remove from... No. Um, prosperity? Yeah. There you go. Removing prosperity. It's... I'd rather not remove it. Um, but I think it's ideal. Hit this. I said I'd rather have my double little brims, but... Hierophon. We've also got Tarot Cloth in here as well, so this uh, booster pack plus Tarot Cloth combo is pretty good. Really. I really hate the fact that our damage and fire rate is still so low, though. These ghosts are taking so long. That one still fucking hit me, are you kidding me? Fuck you. I hate that goddamn noise they make. Whatever it is. Fuck you. Ghost little shitbag. There's still two left? <laughs> Fuck me. Game sometimes, man. Oh god, the, the lag is so bad. What's going on? It's terrible. Honestly, it's awful. Like, for, for what's going on on screen, our frame rate should be nowhere near this low. There's clearly a mod that's updated that's fucking up or something. So this is abysmal. I've, like, recently redone all my mods to have a lot less lag. And you remember, like, a few weeks ago, I was talking about it and saying how good the game felt finally, and... Now it's just not the same. A good few justice. Kind of interesting with Void Bombs, where you don't actually want it directly on the boss. You can do more damage if the ring stays on them for longer, rather than just the bomb hitting. There you go. We got through that at least. To the next floor. To the next floor, floor. Locust of War, thank you. Actually pretty decent, I like that. Well, Odd Mushroom is good because we need that fire rate. It's a good fire rate. Taurus... I don't see as that good because we don't have familiars or anything to do extra damage. We do have good luck right now, which is nice. A world card there, that's really nice to see. Go straight to the boss now. I'm really liking the sticky bombs situation we got going on here. What I don't like is all these little nubbins that are shooting at me. There's so many of them, fuck you. Get out of here. There's so many nubbins. This is such a ridiculous room. Yeah, I got hit. I'm fucking bound to. Look at it. It's crazy. There's too much. And the game. She lags so bad. Fuck off. There's too many of you. 
I like it when you get a room like this, though, where there's a, a shortcut um, secret room. Dude, this booster pack item, it just, it's crazy with the amount of, um, we'll d6 this. It's crazy with the amount of cards it procs. Hurt myself there. Quickly go back down and grab that. <sighs> this has been treacherous. What the fuck's hitting me? Is this is this yellow creep da damaging? Apparently, okay. I didn't think it was. I don't know why I didn't think it was, but I didn't think it was. All you need to know. Dude, the amount of cards this is proccing is absurd. That was a stupid room. Knockout drops is rather nice. Pet rock is of course amazing. You're good luck, so knockout drops are doing some good work. Good old bit of justice there. Justice is kind of good though, because it gave us hearts on the floor. I've never really used the sticky bomb item to, to great effect before. This is pretty good. I'm getting a good amount out of it. Okay, well that was fucking dreadful. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.